Your know, fat into muscles using progressive resistance exercises to control and develop one's muscle structure is hard work. Trust me, I've tried it. Well, starting a bodybuilding program can be a daunting task, and to become a bodybuilder, you need to be patient and you need to have determination. It is also important to definitely write down your goals and your realistic expectations of what you hope to achieve in the short and long term. Now, Martin Dewey, professional bodybuilder, four times SA champion in natural um, bodybuilding, is an example. He wrote two books, the first one entitled Drug-Free Muscle Training, which had a great success. He was also born in Peter Maritzburg in 1965 and pursued the world of boxing and bodybuilding with an illustrious modeling and movie career. Now, 10 years later, his second book, And Training DVD, is out. And to discuss this further, we have Martin in studio, four times as a champion in natural bodybuilding. Martin, wow, welcome to AMUs. Oh, thanks so much for having me here. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you for joining us. Um, bodybuilding, why? I mean, when, when, when you grow up, your parents say, you need to be a lawyer, you need to be a teacher, you need to be a doctor. And you said, uh-uh, bodybuilding. Why is that so? It didn't happen like that. I started off, um, I lived in Peter Marisburg and it was a rough neighborhood. And the first thing I took up was boxing at the age of 10. And um, after 105 fights, I came to Johannesburg, turned pro, and got involved in the movie business. I did my first international movie in 1987. Mm. And uh, I took up bodybuilding because I wanted to improve the looks, my looks on uh, screen, yes. Yeah, and you, you uh, were telling me your age right now, which I will not disclose, <laughs> but I do not believe at all, I have to say. And with bodybuilding now, you're a four times SA champion. That's right. What does that mean? What were the process of actually getting those titles? Four times natural heavyweight bodybuilding mm -hmm. champion. And um, first of all, to become a natural champion, they do certain tests like polygraph, as in lie detector, and uh, urine tests. And I won the SA Naturals four years in a row. Yeah. And I just wanted to prove that you don't need drugs to get to the top in sport. Right. Yeah. And, and because you did not take drugs then, what did you do to stay fit? To stay fit, obviously, I looked after my health uh, by eating correctly, training regularly, uh, no alcohol, no drugs whatsoever. I don't even touch red meat. I only mm. eat things like chicken, fish, uh, egg white, tuna, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And these are lots of the things that I've actually discussed in my new book, Slowing Down Father Time. Yeah. Before we get into the Slowing Down Father Time books, let's start with the very first book that you've ever published, and that's The Drug-Free Muscle Training. Um, why did you decide on this title, and why did you decide to write a book about drug-free uh, muscle training? When I started bodybuilding many, many years ago, I was horrified when I found out that uh, many of the bodybuilders were using steroids. And I did some research, went to the library, and f uh, found... Uh, three books on steroids, and I couldn't believe that these bodybuilders were using these drugs without realizing that it's going to affect their heart, liver, kidney, and of course the aggression factor that comes into it. But besides that, any person using steroids is cheating. And they're lying to themselves. Mm. It's not their muscle. I actually put a quote in my book, my last book, and uh, I said that anybody that uses steroids, uh, that so-called steroids that they're using is rented muscle. It's not their muscle. But why do you feel that we even have these products in pharmacies in the first place? I mean, they were probably um, 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 approved by, by, by the health organizations for them to even be in pharmacies. So why do you disagree with the fact that they should not even be placed there in the first place? Now, I'm not talking, there's a difference between supplements mm -hmm. oh, and yes. steroids. Okay. Although there are su certain supplements that contain banned substances in, so you've got to be careful of the supplements that you actually use. Um, but what I am talking about is the hardcore steroids that they use for, supposed to be for medicinal use. Mm -hmm. And obviously these steroids increases the testosterone levels, which in turn increases muscle mass. Uh, athletes are using them uh, and, you know, it's youngsters are using them. That's one of the reasons why I lecture in high schools mm -hmm. and universities. Uh, many of the youngsters from as young as 13 or 14 years old are using these steroids and they're really, really dangerous to use. And why is it also specifically dangerous to use them without any consultation or any medical advice whatsoever? Uh, the main reason for that is that when you use steroids, the heart, yeah, the heart works three or four times harder. It, uh, so there's a possibility of having a heart attack. It affects the... Uh, uh, it affects the, the ac you have acne on the skin. I mean, it's really, really horrible. The guys have these boils and cysts all over the body. Um, the aggression factor also comes in. Mm. 
we have an aggressive society uh, in South Africa and add steroids to that, it just makes it 10 times worse. Yeah. Now let's talk about your second book, which I'm currently holding now. The title of the book is called Slowing Down Father Time. Tell me more about this book. I put this book together uh, three years ago. It took me nearly four years to complete the book and DVD. And the main reason I put it together is that many South Africans are not taking care of themselves. They take better care of their cars, electronic goods than their bodies. And you see it when they're queuing up at all these fast food places. Um, and the main reason I put it together is to show that age is just a number. You can slow down father time. And the only way to do that is to eat correctly. Exercise, very, very important. Mm -hmm. Sleep, so important. Simple things like water. You cannot believe how important water is. And that makes a big, big difference. And put all these factors in place, yeah. and your body will certainly slow down. Well, the age factor, anyway. Yeah, but Roger, I suppose the other misconception is that when we think gym, we don't really do research on the details and the repercussions of some of the activities that we do in gym. And just off record, you were telling me that some of us ladies, when we go for spinning, we don't understand what it takes to spin. We think we're losing weight, we're keeping fit. However, there is still a bit of a compromise there. Uh, tell us about the importance, of course, of doing research of keeping fit the right way. It is important to have some information when you get into the gym. Most people go in blindly and um, I'll give you an example. Most people want to lose weight, especially during this period, and they do exercise like spinning, uh, aerobics, and there's nothing wrong with doing these exercises. Lots of ladies are scared to do weights. I'm going to explain why I've heard, you know, in lots of the seminars that I do, they're afraid that they're going to get big muscle. But it's virtually impossible for females to get big muscle because they produce estrogen instead of mm -hmm. testosterone like guys. So weight training is very, very important. But it's got to be the correct program. Yeah. And most people are just not doing these programs. And that's why after a couple of weeks or after a couple of months, they give up. This is the main reason why... You know, after 30 years of training, I've actually put together some of the best and safest programs for males and females, including teenagers. And that's why you had, of course, the DVD, because I think it'll be a very practical certainly, way of showing us how to yes, do it the right way. Yes, certainly will be. Thank you so much, Martin. Martin DeVee, a four times SA champion in natural bodybuilding. I hope I pronounced your surname right. Yes, it is. It, it is. is. Correct. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. All right. Well